Yo, 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 what is up, folks? How's it going? Come on in. I'm going to keep it quick. Just going to the money store. Oh, it's busy out here today. I guess people are coming home from the rat race, right? So, comfort zones. It's been said that we grow most when we're out of our comfort zones. Well, that is accurate. Now, I'm about to step out of my comfort zone like I never have before. Remember, I used to be an introvert. And the truth of the matter is I still am an introvert when it comes to in-person stuff. Keep in mind guys, when I started doing videos, I was petrified. You look at some of my older webinars and uh, if you see my armpits in the shot. They're coming to get me. I've been caught. They're coming to get me. That's actually an ambulance. When I started doing videos, guys, I was petrified and it lasted forever. It lasted about six months before I was somewhat comfortable, but every time I was uncomfortable in making videos, my business just went off the charts, okay? So now there's something I've been dodging for a very, very long time, and that is in-person events. Yes, I admit it. I've been petrified to go. Speaking in front of crowds, audiences, or even just, I don't know guys. I built my whole business, my whole brand, through one fiber optic cable, and that's the truth. I wouldn't recommend you do the same. I wouldn't recommend you do the same. Because I limited the speed of my success by not going to in-person events. I believe that now. There's not a mentor that I follow that won't say the same thing. So, tomorrow's the day, guys. Tomorrow's the day. I'm a little nervous in my voice just talking about it. Tomorrow, I am off to Toronto. Yes, I am leaving the money-making dungeon. I am leaving the money-making dungeon. I'm out in public, and I'm going to go out to Toronto and be on the Nikki Clark Show. Live audience, super cool. What's even cooler is that the syndication afterwards. That's initially what excited me, okay, was the power of the syndication afterwards. I don't know if it's City TV, Rogers, Vibe. The show gets syndicated, right? So 1.3 million eyeballs, I believe it is, are going to see it. You've got to take that opportunity. But when I did the, the old Richard Branson thing, they say, if someone offers you an opportunity, say yes and then figure it out. Well, me, it wasn't about figuring it out. It was about getting getting out of my own way. And ever since the day's been approaching, I knew this for months now, the fears kind of, the fears increased. And there's no exception to today. Let this guy go. Thank you. There's no exception. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow I'm, I'm in front of a live audience and I am shitting bricks, man. I'm shitting bricks, man. I'm actually really, really, uh, the fears are kicking in. What are fears? What are fears? What does fear stand for? False events that aren't real, I believe. Fear. False events that aren't real. It's true. Most of the things you imagine are not going to happen. But more importantly, that's when the best things have happened for me. The more fearful I am to do something, including back when I was doing wake-up calls and live trainings, everything that I feared is where my business changed. And the more I feared it, we're going to the money store, by the way. We're going to fill the pockets for the trip. you got to fill the pockets, right? Pay attention here, so so I don't get hit by a bus before I before I'm off on my trip. So I actually make the destination. So all that to say is, if you feel the fear, guys, do it anyways, 
And when you feel the fear, know that it's about to reward you in a huge way. That's exactly how I feel about tomorrow. I am terrified, guys. Yes, Mark alone gets terrified. And this is probably one of the scaredest, scaredest, just in time for Halloween, right? How scary. So I'm doing it anyways, and I will share with you guys on Sunday how, how it went. I mean, I have no idea what to expect. But now I know what to expect. It's time to fill those pockets. So that's it. I was just killing time, guys. Sharing my fear with you all to say that no matter how comfortable I look, I don't get fear. I, I'm not fearful of doing videos anymore, but that's kind of my point. If I want to speak on big stages, got to start somewhere, right? And this is kind of it's a huge stage for my first shot. So let's see what happens, right? What do you think of the clean shave? trying to look professional. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.